Fast Stone Photo Resizer is a quick and free way to add a watermark, signature, or logo to multiple photos all at once. Now if you haven't created your watermark, you should Google or YouTube how to do that with one of the programs you have installed on your computer first. But if you've done that, then we can go to the web browser and we can Google search FastStone. Choose FastStone Photo Resizer. Download and install the program on your computer. And you'll be left with this shortcut on your desktop. Double click, open up the program, make sure that the Batch Convert tab is selected. And now we're going to select source output by clicking this. This is where your photos are that you wish to work with. Find your photos. I already have, so I'm just going to click cancel. And you'll be left with this list of photos or files within the folder. You can change the view, change it to thumbnail to see what's in there. If you want to work with all of those photos, you can click next to them and drag across and let go and they'll all be selected and then you click add add them to this box the box we'll be working with before I go any further I want to let you know that this program will not modify the original file it's going to create a copy so that's great it's not going to wreck uh, your originals you can change or modify the default output format or not, just leave it a JPEG if you want. Output folder, if that's not selected, you're gonna say it's not specified. Files will be saved in the original folder. Kinda looks like they think that's a bad idea. I think it's a bad idea too. So we wanna choose or create the output folder where the pictures with the watermark are going to be after we're done. So click browse and either find or create a new folder. I'm going to create one and I'm going to click OK. And now you can see there's a little URL here to the folder that we can find the finished product in. Next step, make sure that you have a check mark beside Use Advanced Options. Click Advanced Options and go straight to the watermark tab. And then we want to select the watermark that we have created before. You find your watermark. This defaults to the FastStone watermark. I know where mine is. It's in my pictures folder. And there it is there. I would choose that. I already have, so again I'm going to click cancel. And once it's there, it'll show you your watermark. You can choose the position, which I find really great. You can put it anywhere you want. Many programs won't give you that option. You can add a shadow to your watermark or not. You can leave the other stuff as default. You can change the opacity, so how much you want it to actually show up on your photos. I leave mine by default at 100% and I leave this default as well. You can save these options, the watermark and how you want it displayed in its own file so it can be used over and over again in future, um, for future need. Click OK or in my case cancel because I've already saved those options. And When you're ready click convert. works really fast and we're done. So we can close the program up and go to my output folder. Here's the original folder. As you can see the original folder there's the pictures with no watermark on it and go to the watermark folder and you can see that Here's a picture with the watermark on it, or logo. Now, you will notice, perhaps, 
that the watermark signature or logo is a different size depending on how big your picture is. How much, if you have a fancy DSLR, the resolution is going to be massive, file size is going to be very big. So you'll want to um, adapt the size of your watermark based on the resolution of the pictures that you have taken. And that's it. You've just added a very professional looking watermark to multiple photos all at once using Faststone Photo Resizer. Thanks very much for watching.